Hey my friends, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. We are almost done and I don't know about you, but for me it has flown by and I'm trying to like soak in every moment of, you know, the pre-Christmas fun because it's gonna be over with. So <laughs> I'm really, really trying to appreciate and soak in every day. I hope you are too because these times are fun and exciting and they fly by, so. But today I'll be doing my Christmas food shopping. I have a big list of stuff and I actually need to go to like four stores, but I'm not positive if I'm, if I'm going to hit all those stores today, but I'm going to do my best. But I've just been getting ready. I did pull my hair up. I haven't pulled my hair up in a long time. I like leaving it down lately. It's really growing out and I've enjoyed it look like it. It's gotten longer so it looks better when it's down. I don't know, but I was like, I'm going to be running around doing a lot of stuff. I've got to have my hair up today. But got my makeup on and of course the last thing I have to put on is my earrings. I'm going to put my earrings and my perfume. And today I'm going to be sharing with you two more Dossier fragrances. This is mine and my family's favorite perfume. It's a company called Dossier and I will link it down below if you haven't heard me talk about it before. Let me share it with you. You will love it. So Dossier is a company that reproduces classic high-end luxury scents at a fraction of the price, keeping the exact same high quality by cutting all the expenses and the infamous brand tax. They have a risk-free system that allows customers to try their perfumes before they're committing to them. And if you do decide to return it, they have a standard 30-day return period. Their prices are extremely affordable. They want everyone to be able to enjoy high-end quality scents. So make sure you check out the Dossier website. They are always offering really great bulk deals. You can get 20% off of five plus bottles, which is something I took advantage of. And they're always open to new suggestions from customers. So definitely check out the website. Their packaging is like top notch. I love their packaging. Come, each one comes in a box and it has a card that gives you all the information about that perfume that you need to know. And then the perfume bottle itself is just beautiful. And it has this magnetic lid, which everyone talks about because it's so cool. <laughs> it's so cool. And it's what you would expect if you bought a high-end perfume. And then the bottle itself, it's just heavy and you can tell it's good quality. I love their packaging. I also love to line up the bottles together. They just, I just think it looks so pretty when they're all together. But if you don't like the label, you can also turn them around and line them up like that. It's just very clean and simple and minimal if that's what you like. I am gonna put my glasses on real quick because I'm gonna share with you what this is. This is my new, probably second favorite one that they had. This is one, this is called Floral Pink Pepper. And it is inspired by Dior, Miss Dior Cherie, I don't know, 2017 version. But I read a lot of reviews on their website about this one before I chose this one because I, I was, I love to do that on their website. You can go in and see just what other people think about a certain scent. And I, this one had really good reviews and it just sounded, it just sounded amazing from what they were saying. So I was like, I'm going to try it. And I love it, love it, love it. The uh, floral pink pepper is probably my top one of my top two favorites. And the next one that I'm gonna share with you is a tried and true favorite of mine and Madison's. This is called Ambery Vanilla, and it is inspired by YSL Black Opium, and it smells exactly like it, exactly like it. I got this from Madison for Christmas last year, and she's getting it again this year because it's almost gone, and she's in love with it. The top notes are mandarin, pear, pink pepper, and licorice. Maybe that's why I like both. They both have the, the pink pepper, but each one will tell you what the top notes, the middle notes, and the base notes are. So when you first spray it, you'll smell those top notes, and then as time goes on, you'll start to smell the other layers, and they're just beautiful. I've not tried a Dossier perfume that I did not love. Okay, I am braving the crazy crowds at Christmas time, the crazy Walmart crowd. <laughs> um, also, I want to let you know, I have seen that Dossier is sold at Walmart now, so I'm actually going to try and see if they have it at my Walmart, but if it's too late for you to order for Christmas, you can always run to Walmart and see if they have it at your Walmart. I know that it's supposed to be like the top five uh, most popular scents, and the Ambery Vanilla is one of them, so that's a top scent for me. So anyways, I would encourage you to go check it out. I've seen in other, on other vlogs that they found them at their Walmart. So I'm gonna see if they have them at mine. But I'm gonna run out and do this. I had told you in another, I think yesterday's video that Jackson was gonna go climb the mountain today with my nephew. And anyway, he just decided it's too cold and 
uh, he didn't want to go. So in a, in a different search situation, I might say, you need to go, you need to go get out, get some exercise, whatever. But it's climbing a mountain. I'm not going to force him to climb a mountain if he doesn't want to. That's, that's a lot. So, uh, but yeah, he's uh, playing with a friend right now. So I am going to head out to Walmart and hopefully get this done. It's probably going to take me a couple hours. I'm actually kind of, I mean, I, when I'm there, it'll be fine. But I'm kind of dreading it a little bit just because... I don't know what to expect, but maybe it won't be as bad as I think. It is so cold though. Well, I just got to Sam's and there's not hardly any spots available. So that's not a good sign. <laughs> Thankfully, I only have to get a couple things in here, but it's the lines I'm worried about. I am back from all I went to was Sam's and Walmart I couldn't do anymore <laughs> I couldn't do anymore it's already after four I have literally not eaten a bite of anything today so that was not a good idea to go shopping when I'm hungry but I kept thinking oh I got too much to do I got too much to do and I wasn't hungry when I left or I would have eaten then but I got it done it was a madhouse as expected but it was better than had I gone Saturday so I got everything brought in and put up. I This is like a week and a half's worth of groceries. It's not that many groceries because I already had like a lot of dinner still. But it's a lot of stuff for, I'm trying to think. I think it's one, two, three. It's like three get-togethers plus like Christmas morning and a few other things. It's 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 a different grocery haul than, than my normal. I didn't do, I also bought a lot of baking stuff. So... I was shocked. Can we talk about the price of eggs for a second? Seven dollars and two cents for an 18 count eggs. That's insane. I think it was like almost four dollars for a dozen of just like the cheapest Walmart eggs. That's crazy to me. That's crazy. But we all know about the crazy prices. So I went to Sam's first. I'll do a little Sam's haul and then I'll show you everything I got at Walmart. First of all, I did get my cat litter and you know Clyde's always got to be sitting on it when I show it to you. And this was still on sale for 16 something. So that's such a good deal. Such a good deal. If you have a Sam's and you have cats, <laughs> it's a good deal. I love this cat litter. And you're going to hear Belle's tag hitting the bowl. She's in here with me. There she goes. Uh, this is what else I got at Sam's. I got some croissants because we're going to be having a baking day. And I'm going to make chicken salad croissants and also like turkey. This was uh, uh, like on sale at Sam's. It was normally $8 and it was $4.50. So that was a pretty good sale. So I thought I would try it. It's Chex Pieces, pretzels, and peanut butter. I mean, that sounds delish. I grabbed this actually for my mom. It was also like a rollback price. It was five something. I'm gonna give that to her for Christmas because she loves popcorn and she loves peanut butter, anything. I got this brisket. My sister buys this every year, it makes it on Christmas. And so I just got another one to add to it. Probably pick up another meat too, but I got this at Sam's. It was 25, I think. It's good though. And then box of the, okay, sorry. I also bought a box of chocolate chip cookies. Jackson and Miriam both love those. And then everything else I think came from Walmart. Here's like a little overview. I'll start over here. I got a bunch of dog and cat food. I just keep them in the bag so I can just take them in the pantry like this and put them up. But you know, just stocked up on the can dog and cat food. Some dishwasher pods and paper plates. I went ahead and got the Bob Evans mashed potatoes for Christmas just because it's going to be busy and you know, I don't want to be peeling potatoes all Christmas Day. So, um, I grabbed two of the family size. We'll take these over to Christmas dinner. Also, I got... <laughs> Everybody is texting and calling. Oh, my word. Okay, <laughs> I don't know where I left off. It's just a little crazy right now. My other sister just got into town, and so we're just trying to coordinate everything. But anyway, she's about to stop over, so i got to get this done. I got one of these Market Side Lemonade because they are amazing if you've never had them. That will be for one of our get-togethers. I don't know, but I, I, I did get a bunch of other drinks. I got some foil and parchment paper. This is, I'm thawing out. I'm probably going to make chicken alfredo tonight, but if I'm too tired, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if that happens. And then I got some of these tuna creations, the hickory. Marion loves those with some crackers. Got some hot chocolate. 
some stuffing. This will be for Christmas Eve. We're going to have Christmas Eve dinner with Michael and Danielle. It's what we always do. And so I have to, well, we'll be having Christmas Eve dinner and Christmas dinner. So I've got different things for different, different dinners. I got elbow mac. I'm going to, I mean, elbows. I'm going to make crock pot mac and cheese. Some penne. This is supposed to be for my chicken alfredo tonight. I just grabbed some of these frozen pancakes. Just easy breakfast. Jackson loves them. I love them. And um, this is for my baking. One of the things I'm going to make some Ritz. And then clearly I couldn't decide what mac and cheese to get. I got sh three cheese. Shells and cheese. The great value that I got a mac and cheese regular. And then a mac and cheese. Uh, Kraft mac and cheese extra creamy. I love boxed mac and cheese. It's one of my favorites, but no one in my family likes it. Literally no one except me. So, but I didn't have any more, so I had to get some. I got some corn muffin mix because I'm making like a baked corn. It's kind of like a corn pudding. It is so, so, so delicious. I'll try to share the recipe. I'm making that for Christmas. I got two things of dry roasted peanuts. Those are for my baking. Got some olive oil, peanut butter, some pizza sauce, Parmesan cheese, I got a bunch of cans of corn because I'm making cream corn in a crock pot and also the the uh, corn casserole, the baked corn takes takes that. I also got a uh, can of baked beans for Christmas. I love baked beans instead of green beans, so I'm bringing those. And I got some evaporated milk for my mac and cheese. Got some stick butter and tub butter, spreadable butter. I definitely need this for my baking. Some mozzarella cheese, sour cream, and some dip for chips we'll have that with our chicken salad and then I got I wanted like the small cans of the biscuits that they had have at Walmart but they didn't have any so I'm gonna try and cut these up smaller I'm gonna make monkey bread on Christmas morning and I got I saw this recipe where you air fry these with Nutella and chocolate chips so I'm gonna try that Jackson loves he'll love that he loves like the peanut or the chocolate croissants and then he loves Nutella so that'll be good we'll try that in the air fryer and then I got a half gallon of milk I just grabbed a pizza to have in the freezer for when we need something quick I got these chips to go with the dip and then I got these uh, for my baking day and then this is something I hadn't seen at Walmart before I've seen them at Sam's and they're real expensive but this one was like $6.97 so I thought we would buy it and try it if it's any good. We'll see. Marion Marion really wanted it when we saw it last time. I got a ham. I already have a turkey breast for these will be for Christmas Eve when Michael and Danielle come over. I got some sausage for I'm gonna make a quiche on Christmas morning as well as monkey bread and also turkey bacon. So that'll be our Christmas morning food. Got some more of these pizza crusts. These are really nice and convenient to make pizzas for Jackson. I'm going to make some tacos and homemade pico de gallo one night. So I got those. Then I got some chicken strips. These, uh, I, we used up the other ones we had that were not good. And these are the ones we really like. I mean, the Purdue. The, it's usually the orange label, but this was what they had. So Jackson likes these in the air fryer. And then these are so good. I'm, it's probably like a 10-year-old's meal, but like these and box mac and cheese. And I'm happy. I love it. <laughs> these are so good with Chick-fil-A sauce. Love it. And then I got a thing of rolls, and I got the 10-pack instead of the 20-pack that I wanted to get because I everything was too expensive. And then this is the last of it. I got some bananas, eggs, $7 eggs, some Roma tomatoes, onions, a couple onions, some green beans, cilantro, bell pepper, and then I was so excited to find grapes. We haven't had grapes in so long, and they look pretty good. I'm going to wash those up it's a ton it's like seven dollars but it's a ton of grapes i'm i'm super excited about that and then i got pecans for this is all my baking stuff um but of course you know nuts are so expensive this was 12 something almost 13 dollars. and how much is it four cups we always make homemade pecan pralines if you've seen my christmas videos you know that but it's a family tradition family recipe and we gotta have pecans so and i'm also going to be doing a crock pot candy so you use almond bark, this German chocolate, and chocolate chips. So I got two of these almond bark for a couple recipes. This was just some oatmeal they didn't have. This was the kind they had, so I bought it, but I'm not sure if I need this. I have some, but I didn't want to not have enough. And then I got two bags of powdered sugar, and then same with this. I just want to make sure I didn't run out of flour and sugar, so I just grabbed small ones of each of those so that I can add them to my containers and make sure I have enough. So that is my grocery haul. I'm going to go ahead and put everything up. 
I'm going to text my sister. I think she is coming over. The one She lives in California. I have one sister that lives in California. One lives in the Bahamas. The one that lives in California, she flew in last night at like midnight. And she's going to be here for two weeks. So she's going to stop over. So I need to get this put up so I can visit with her. And then this evening, we're going to go over to my other to my sister's airbnb and we're gonna hang out there and just hopefully have a good time so i gotta put these groceries away and make dinner and visit and i gotta do it i gotta do it all i gotta do it all and i'm starving <laughs> okay forgot to show you one thing that i did buy it is several hours later my sister came over i made dinner i made chicken alfredo and we ate and now we're gonna head over to my other sisters airbnb like i told you but i realized i didn't show you my drinks and it's super super exciting <laughs> i got some sodas for you know our get togethers and then i got a couple different like sparkling sparkling cider so i'll put the lemonade with those and we'll figure it out like i was saying over the next uh, couple get togethers but it's 7 30 now and i'm was supposed to be over there at 7 so i'm actually taking my computer i'm gonna do some editing but we might like put in a christmas movie and i got some bluebell peppermint ice cream i'm gonna bring it over there so we can all share that it'll be fun but mary and jackson are gonna stay here they're actually downstairs playing monopoly so yeah i'm gonna go and i'll try to vlog someone on there i'll show you the house if you've watched my christmas videos before you've probably seen it this is like the third or fourth year that they've rented that big house and it's so nice because when everyone's together we have plenty of room over there and it's just nice and cozy and comfy so i will i will pull up my camera and show you around it's a really cute house so so it is the next day <laughs> it is uh 12 30 the next afternoon and what is today tuesday so Yesterday I was going to vlog, and last night I was going to vlog, but we just had a lot of things going on. I had to deal with some family situations, and it was literally, it was like midnight. I was like, if I edit my video tonight, I will be up till 3 in the morning or later, and I wasn't going to do that, and y'all wouldn't want me to do that, so uh, I didn't have a video go up today, which is Tuesday, so you, if you check my community tab, you saw that I posted there and just said I apologize, but... You know family comes first and i know you all understand that and so i thought i would just carry the video over to today and it's kind of confusing but since i didn't i was going to have yesterday's vlog and today's vlog be two separate but now it's just going to be one so um and then at the end of vlogmas i was going to actually post a video on christmas eve it was going to be a bonus video and i wasn't going to say anything until i posted it but ended up being good that i had a bonus video because I had to take today's video off because I just couldn't get it edited in time. So we're still gonna have 12 days of Vlogmas, just skipping this one day. So if you didn't see my community tab post, I just said we had a family situation going on that needed my full attention. I wasn't able to do my editing. I hadn't planned on, you know, taking a day off. It just, you know, life happens, things happen and you have to take it as it comes. So, um, but not to worry, everything is fine. So I wanted to thank you all for your sweet comments and your prayers and all that. It's always felt and appreciated so very much. Um, but everything is good and we are heading out now. Today is Tuesday, like I said. We're heading over to the Discount Theater again because we're going to see Spirited. It's going to be my third time. But my sister came into town yesterday and she hasn't seen it. And she's really into like dancing, dance numbers and movies with dancing and singing and all that and she's i'm like angela you would love it so we're gonna go watch that i think it's gonna be patrick my sister angela my nephew rocco and jackson and i and so uh, that's the plan for now it's like it starts in like 15 minutes and then we're gonna go um and then after that i need to you know do some housework i might run do a little last minute few little christmas shopping things and then I'm gonna put this video in with yesterday. So I hope it's not too much of a hodgepodge. <laughs> it's the movie squad. <laughs> movie squad, Patrick Patrick went to the bathroom, but uh, yeah. There's a bus of kids that just pulled in. Hopefully they're going to like help or something. Well, my friends, <laughs> I have really failed at vlogging today. Really, really failed. It was just one of those days where it's eight o'clock and I just now ate dinner and I'm going to actually sit down and edit the video that was supposed to be up today. I haven't even started editing it. It just was one thing after another. We went to the movie and my sister said it was hard to describe how funny that movie was. <laughs> like it was so good. And then um, 
<clears throat> I plan on vlogging more and then I was gonna just come home and do some stuff around here and I was gonna film it I was gonna make a nice dinner and work on my laundry things like that but I ended up going to do a couple a little last minute shopping just a little picked up a few things but it was good I needed to and then I got back and my sister and my nephew were here and then they left and my other sister and my mom came and they just left at like 7 30 and it was just wonderful to just sit and visit with them and then I just heated up leftovers we had enough leftovers for all Jackson Mary and I so I didn't have to make dinner so it was just one of those completely unplanned but really wonderful days to just sit and visit and it was much needed so I did not pull out my camera and this vlog is probably lame but I apologize as you know I said you know yesterday turned out different today turned out different it's just it's just a lot going on so um, tomorrow is my baking day and every year my sisters and my nieces will come over and help me make some treats and stuff so uh, make sure that you come back for tomorrow's video it's gonna be a fun one I love baking day every year it's the it's one of my favorites days right before Christmas and apparently my nieces feel the same way so they were there it's funny um how we raised our kids with like traditions and now they're like reminding us we have to do this we have to do this we have to do it this way and you know it's fun because traditions are so fun if you don't have many traditions it's never too late to start a new family tradition anyway thank you for hanging out with me these last two days thank you for your understanding when i didn't post today uh, but i will be back on track tomorrow so make sure that you come back and you're subscribed if you're not already if you want to be and make sure to give this video a thumbs up i love you all and i will see you tomorrow Bye bye <laughs>